morning friends this is dr apoor mehra and i have a privilege to share this talk uh, with professor anil dhal who happens to be my teacher in the medical college and my heart cannot be happier that uh, he allowed me to sit with him and uh, coming on a place where we are talking about uh, the foot sir has recorded some of the things here and he will take you through the journey of a foot case so welcome sir let's talk about uh, foot as a short case and whenever we look at the examination of post graduates uh, the ankle and foot cases are not very commonly given and many people do neglect preparing this area but if the examiner will find it in the hospital they will surely keep it your words on yes, ankle sir. and foot sir uh, dr apoor thank you for allowing me to be with you in this academic uh, presentation uh, you are very right that uh, foot and ankle cases are usually not kept but this sort of a case the one that we are presenting for the benefit of the post graduate students today is a sure shot case for for the exam and uh, as you are all aware foot and ankle cases are usually kept as short cases and uh, the case at hand is what i always say a zero error case meaning thereby uh, you will soon realize that if you perform methodologically methodologically and uh, do not make any mistakes then you are sure shot likely to pass but even a small mistake in this sort of a zero error case is going to cost you dearly and as we usually tell our post graduates in training sessions that it is easier to pass on a difficult case than it is very easy to fail on an easy case so with these words i would like to uh, start the demonstration right sir so i will just like to add two words here which sir has always taught us every system remember the sequence of examination there is a broader thing that is listen look feel move measure and compare at every step but then for every area you must be knowing what is the sequence and have a clarity on this most of the times you are assessed and marked if you are correctly telling the sequence and the positive findings in an order and when as sir has clearly said if there is a difficult case there is a likelihood that you will do well but examiner will be very careful in looking at the methodology which is a combination of clarity and a sequence of examination so we will start uh, looking at this history sir well uh, the patient who presented to me recently in one of the opd sessions was an 18 year old man so presented. skeletally mature sir he was skeletally mature and uh, since he is uh, already working and uh, uh, in a in a factory uh, he presented to me with a pus discharge which he claimed was there for the last 6 months along with this though he was ambulant he was also complaining of a moderate amount of pain in the foot area on weight bearing well on closer questioning he also volunteered that towards the evening he tends to be tired and uh, he did get a sense of un being unwell which we usually term as malaise though there was no loss of appetite but again when i questioned him about the fitness of the clothes he said of late he is feeling that the trousers that he is wearing have become loose and not only that he also said that yes my friends have started telling me that you look leaner than what you were about a year ago 
Again, I asked him whether he has any cough or expectoration, so he denied any such episodes. Well, friends, keeping in mind that this is a short case, I think this much of history is good enough to embark upon clinical examination in such a case. And I, my advice to you is that devote sufficient amount of time on clinical examination and do not waste time on taking very detailed history in such cases. Only one thing I want to ask here, sir, about the description of pain, sir. Well, uh, as I said, the pain was moderate in character, more so on weight bearing, and he was not taking any medicine for this pain. So I think my impression at that time was that the pain is secondary. It is the continuous pus discharge for which he is dressing or undergoing dressings every day, which is more worrying him. So, sir is clearly mentioning here that in the history, you must delineate what actually the patient is concerned about. That's why you have placed pus above the pain. Yes. That is the thought about yeah. it, sir? Yeah, yeah. So, this is what we go to the thing. thing. Listen is done. When it's a short case, sir says you should take a basic history and go to the examination because the time is limited. So, sir is going to the next step of inspection, also called as look. So, on just looking at the foot, I think it was more or less a spotter. And what we noticed was that there was an active draining sinus located on the anterolateral aspect of the foot, just a little distal to the lateral malleolus. And what we found on little closer examination that there was an obvious watery discharge which was present in this patient. So this slide clearly shows you the watery nature of the discharge. Along with this, what was obvious was that there was no redness or inflammation surrounding the sinus and to my mind there was an element of healing probably of a previous discharging sinus but the scar of healing was puckered it was drawn towards the deeper tissues and that is what gave it the retracted or the puckered appearance well with this much on inspection or looking at the foot, we then embarked upon further examination and we moved on to the step of feeling the foot 